when we've got a nice bus implement on and the uh, screen is unlocked to do section control is we'll have this uh, section control button here and uh, on this overview we've either got uh, manual or uh, into auto um, so now in auto there is the uh, the implement will be switching on and off automatically with uh, with, uh, on, with that one toggled over this one here that's greyed out just simply because I haven't got a field boundary but uh, this will allow me to uh, uh, work the uh, middle of the field first and then do the uh, do the headland uh, afterwards but if I uh, double press again on my section control button we can see then we got uh, some more uh, some more settings available to us so again is that uh, allows us to do the middle of the field first and the headland last this one here then would ignore the field boundary so if i was say working with uh, with egnos where i might have a bit of drifting with the with the field boundary again as i could just uh, get it to uh, to ignore that one effectively allow me to spread outside of the boundary because it's uh, it's drifted and here this one here would be uh, uh, ignoring an uh, exclusion zone up here we can see the uh, the implements that we're we're, we're controlling uh, within here and again is if I had something with uh, with two uh, control targets so it might be a uh, um, a seed rail and a fertilizer rail on a, on a drill I'd see two um, uh, bits or well, two control targets there that I could alter and select between and then here then is I'm just looking at my overlap so my infield overlap am I uh, having a zero percent overlap 50 percent 25 percent 75 percent we can scroll through there and we can see just in in here then how that is uh, is being uh, being altered uh, with uh, with that one is how much overlap I have with the uh, with the uh, system again if I've got a boundary then this one would be uh, active so again it would allow show how much uh, overlap before that uh, section gets uh, gets turned off in here then is I can look at uh, my driving directions this would just be moving everything either forwards or backwards if uh, things are, are timed out or, or we're switching on and off um, not to quite in the correct position a bit of a crude uh, measurement there and then here then is as I'm driving up and down the field if I had something just uh, uh, an outside section of a sprayer flicking on and off then I could just give myself a bit of a uh, bit of tolerance there now I can come in and do some further settings uh, in here, so I can control my uh, my number of sections uh, in here. And uh, what I can do is alter the uh, delay times where we're using the, uh, the 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 manager there, so I'm saying, oh, it switches on too early or switches on too late. And uh, you can make the choice there. You can then put in a a distance, put in your uh, your your turning speed on the headland, and then it will work out then. A, a new uh, delay time for the uh, for the target there this one here just means then that when the tractor comes to uh, to stand still the uh, the sections will uh, will switch off some implements need a bit of a, a command from the from the tractor to sort of say oh, I'm stationary therefore switch everything off uh, so if you've got an implement that sort of still say spraying or spreading when you were stationary then we just need to uh, toggle this switch to uh, to uh, pick up on that uh, that feature there